before Stanford Founding Communities Present Pasts uh, and New Research on Campus Connections uh, is a program that we're launched this year at the Archaeology Center thinking about Stanford's 125th anniversary and really uh, curious to know how looking at Stanford's history and the communities that have been involved here uh, through an archaeological lens would help us understand more or give us uh, new perspectives on the history of Stanford University and specifically the founding of the university here in its 125th year. The event today uh, was organized to bring some scholars and researchers both from Stanford and from other universities in the area who are working on different pieces of this very big story of the history of Stanford and its connections to the broader history of California and the American West in general. Stanford story really is a community story uh, of both one community at Stanford and the many different communities who have come through here. And also to hear uh, the research from different scholars that really gives new insight and some new stories that I hadn't heard before, either about uh, Moakma Ohlone peoples who uh, have been on these lands uh, in their tribal communities for thousands of years and, and continue to have a really strong relationship with the university. Uh, as well as some of the histories of Chinese railroad workers and early Stanford workers and their descendants and how memories of Stanford are preserved throughout the world, throughout families, uh, and the ways that these stories really connect with the places at Stanford today and even the, the even very small archaeological objects that have been excavated from campus lands over the past several decades. I'm really pleased that there's so much that they found and put on display, especially from the early Stanford period where they uh, uh, found parts from the mansions and from the construction of the university itself, uh, also some of the older uh, Ohlone artifacts. All of this is quite interesting. I'm glad it's here for us to view.